I just arrived to Paris. This is my first time in France. We're gonna take the metro, which was above ground here, to the city. And by the city, I mean the Eiffel Tower. Behind me is the famous Arc de Triomphe or Triumph Arc. You can go up on top of it and go inside. There's like a museum of sorts. So yeah, a lot of people around here. After standing in queue for 40 minutes, it's finally our turn to go up. It takes some time to get up, so you need <laughs> some stamina to do it. I guess we are on the second floor of the top part and then there's the roof where you get the view. On the terrace and you can see the whole city from here including the Eiffel Tower behind me. It's a really beautiful view and today is sunny day so it's extra perfect. It really feels like the center of Paris because all the roads like go from this circle into all the different directions. So even though the Eiffel Tower is like the main attraction, this feels like the center. Like city center uh, center center <laughs> yeah okay, so we're done with the arc it was pretty good very interesting four out of five stars so we just finished eating quick lunch it was way too expensive we ordered a soup it was called onion soup and it tastes like garbage so don't recommend that and the coffee was like four euro for a small shot and I didn't like it, so wouldn't recommend. Now we're going to Trocadero Square, which has this beautiful view over the Eiffel Tower. We just went from that place over the river to this place here, where you can buy a ticket and go on a boat to get a cruise along the Sine River. So you can see the queue to the ticket is not that long, but the queue to the boat is very long. There's queues everywhere here in Paris. Welcome to the queue city. As you know, it is possible to go up the Eiffel Tower, but we're not gonna do that because uh, one, the tickets are sold out and two, it's expensive. Since they are sold out, you need to buy it from other websites and they have like double the price. Yes. The Notre Dame is still burnt and you can't access it. <laughs> it's a quite important uh, building for Paris and all of the Catholic Church. I don't remember the exact reason for why it's burnt, but my guess would be that it's just old. <laughs> but you can see, still under construction. They can't do it really fast because it needs to have special knowledge and skills to rebuild it and there are not that many people who know how to do that. So now we're on the way to the Louvre, Louvre Museum, the famous pyramid shaped one with the Mona Lisa inside. Yeah. Welcome to queue simulation number two. We have the queue all the way from here and onto the pyramids. Okay, I was wrong. I tried standing in the queue, but the guard said the tickets are sold out, but we bought them beforehand. So he told them to go to the pyramid instead. So even though I really hate to plan too much and buy all the tickets beforehand, big places like Paris, you need to buy beforehand most of the things. I have entered the inside of pyramids. Wow! So fun, so many people, feels like a busy shopping center. <laughs> okay, so we're just walking somewhere, there's a bunch of people here. I'm not really sure this is my type of thing, just because I can't handle when it's that many people everywhere, and even more <laughs> outside. Queues on queues on queues, there's like a lot of floors here a lot of exhibition and I'll probably get really tired after walking all of these places. My only question is where the Mona Lisa at? I think it's so funny that people have Nintendo 3DS with the guides on them <laughs> and it looks like everyone's just playing. <laughs> oh my god we're gonna see the Mona Lisa. Whoa. I don't know where the queue begins. There's 
Too many people. Merci. Sorry, how much? No price. No price, yeah. damn it. <laughs> Apparently, uh, there is no price, meaning it's free. That's what she said. I, I didn't find I didn't say it. She said it. It has no price. And we're done with the Louvre Museum. So tired. It's raining right now. But it's a pretty cool museum. Many things inside. I just don't like museums, you know. I think it took like three or four hours we spent there and we didn't see everything. We didn't pay attention closely. We just like skimmed through. It's way too big and you need a whole day to see everything. Yeah, did I tell that the Louvre Museum is free if you are under 26 years old and a resident of the EU. Welcome back. Today I'm a little bit tired and sick, but that's fine. Because right now we are going on the boat cruise along the river sign up and down the river and shows all the major attractions. Hello. Can we have two other tickets? Yes. Yeah. I got the ticket. And the boat is in half an hour, costs 15 euro, but that's fine, should be a good trip, takes about an hour. And today is again sunny, beautiful day, which is surprisingly, because it was raining in the morning. It's a little bit cold, so you need to put on the hat. Just finished with the Sina River boat cruise. It took an hour, it was a little bit cold, but we got to see the whole of the main attractions in Paris. Now we are on the way to Versailles. Taking a train from Champs de Mars, I believe it's called. Versailles, so you need a special ticket for that. 